Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid of the modded variety with the Super Survivors mod. With hopefully we will actually find some more survivors after we let our, our dear friend Mr. Firefighter get killed. But, you know, things, sacrifices had to be made in order to preserve our own life. I'm sure you understand. How's our health doing? Fine, okay. Alright, we need food. Do I have any food? I do have a little bit of food. Hmm. I'm trying to decide where we go next. It's getting late-ish. Ooh, trash candy. So I don't really want to go very far. I'd like to stay close. I think maybe we need to move back to the center house. It just... It's not much, but it gives a little bit more protection than where we were, where we are right now. Look through those again. Make sure there's nothing interesting in there. Yeah, we can't really go far today. This house is is not a good place to stay, but I think it's going to be our only option. All right, it's already closed, so we are, should be all right in here. I'm sure the shoes we're wearing are dirty, so let's just get a new pair of shoes. Seems simple. Oh, I got level ups here. It's kind of crazy that we've done so much work that we've leveled those up already. First aid. We, I guess, we should, the smart thing to do is to stay put. I keep, I keep wanting to go out, but the smart, uh, the smart play is to stay put. Let's just read this book until it's time to sleep, and then we'll sleep, and we'll get up in the next day. See what we can do. They, um, the hordes might move around a little bit and spread out since we cleared a space for them, which will, which would potentially make things easier as well. We'll go to 23. Not close enough. Alright, a little hungry. That can be fixed. Open some chili. Eat some chili. Leave the tin can. there's anything we can do to, to deal with being overloaded here. We could lose like, quite a bit of weight in order to deal with it, but we might be able to pull it off. I mean, they're pretty full. Nah, not be able to do it. Well, that is not the room I wanted to go in. There we go. All right, let's go check out things and see what the state of the world is. Yep, they they shifted a little bit. They did not really spread out, but they did shift a little bit. So what do you think? You think I clear that whole thing? So close. It's damn close. I would like to be underweight if we can do it. Zombies, I'm pretty sure have seen us. It's quite the spread they got there. I'm surprised they're not hanging out a little tighter, as a little tighter bit of a group, but whatever. It's fine. Makes it easier for me. Oh 
That's it. Nobody's coming behind, no? Okay, good. We start to get too many of them, I'll switch to the axe, but for now we're, we seem to be doing okay. Any useful in here? Nope. Alright, that horde seems to have shifted. Somewhat, because I can't really see it anymore. Yeah, it's pushed back that way. That way. Not sure why I said it like that. Alright, I need to just lose just a little bit of weight. Trying to look for things I can drop without feeling it. Well, I can get rid of this dirty bandage. Is that enough to put the can opener away? No. Here. Lose that bucket. There we go. Bucket's not that important. I feel like if we're going to get anywhere, we're going to have to deal with a bunch of these zombies, though. Oh, there's a survivor. He's, uh, he's probably not long for this world, but... There he is. <laughs> trying to get the, the call out to him thing, but he didn't seem to get it. You're just gonna bring that whole group right over to me, aren't you? Let me switch. Let me switch uh, weapons here. Yep. Now I got. Now I've got all these zombies. Thanks, Mr. Attorney. Why am I suddenly overloaded? Oh, because of the, the secondary bag. I don't really want to drop it though. See, and you guys were worried I wasn't gonna see any more survivors. Run. Secondary, please. Thank you. Not that it's super useful to have seen this guy, considering he's going to die here in a second. And he just brought a whole bunch of zombies down on my face. But they're still out there. Alright, let me get the... Let me, let's just do this here. Was one of them. Some of the alarms going off. Oh, this is fun. Thanks for the help there, Mr. Uh, oh, my axe leveled up. Mr. Attorney. Gotten me into a bit of a mess here. Really need them to spread out a little bit. At least one of those guys died. Oh. Well, I, le I think I got a, a swiftness boost here because this axe is swinging like crazy. Well, that makes things a little easier. <laughs> oh, we got a crawler. Oh, 
almost there. Whew, okay. Alright, so what is my axe like now? Unyielding axe of agility. So the agility is the speed. I don't actually know what unyielding means. Maybe a little bit more about damage. We are the axe is not in great shape, which is too bad. Yes, I hear that. Oh, hello. All right, let's clear this place out. See if we can find our our uh, the attorney. Right, give me this guy secondary, please. Alright, he was in this house. Whether or not he's still there, I don't know. Now I need to switch to this. Couple more of you. That one's acting weird. Moving in a weird way. Makes me wonder if he was the former survivor. Who has, who has joined the und armies of the undead. But I don't know if that's true or not. One or two more of you, please. Please. Hello. Oh, well, there's one of them. I don't know why the others haven't seen me, but... Push! Ooh, that was close. Almost got bit there. Yeah, thought I heard somebody coming up behind me. Alright, so let's go see if that dude's inside. There's more zombies coming this way. You in here? This guy, I'm pretty sure, was already here. You out back? No? Go upstairs. Whoop. Can't afford those bad stabs, guys. Do this switch, but all right, quip. Who's coming? Really extremely dark beard that man had. I need some beta blockers, sure. All right, let's see if Mr. Attorney Man's upstairs. Regardless, we need to take a seat for a bit. Sorry, getting tired out. Nope. Gotta rest for a minute here. 
Actually, you know, one thing we can do instead of while we're resting is drop this normal hiking bag on the ground. Put this secondary. And then put all that in here. Save us a little bit of weight. Not a lot, but a little bit. Maybe enough to keep us from being overloaded? Nope, not quite. Can I fit this? Oh, that axe is in terrible shape. No, can't fit any of these. I think I maybe hear a zombie coming up the stairs. Sixteen point oh eight, so close. Oh, barely no zombies coming up the stairs. All right, I don't know what happened to our um, attorney friend. You went somewhere. But unless, unless you were worried that all the zombies, all the uh, survivors were dead. Let that be a lesson. They are not all dead. Some of them are still out there making trouble for the rest of us. I had a thought. I was thinking about our previous playthrough and how we died at, towards the end with the uh, with the fire situation. And I was thinking about the fact that the, oh, that didn't didn't kill him. Why are we having so much trouble killing all of a sudden? Um, zombies can only reach into the cars through the wind through the window. Like they can't just haul it. they can't break into the cars straight up. They can only sort of um Let me drop let me drop this. Hang on, I will read to visit this thought in a second. We got zombies to deal with first. Let's try not to walk Oh, hello. Okay. A little too close there, got grabs. Much higher uh, adrenaline level than I was expecting to be doing right here. Alright, is everybody dead now? I'll get back to my thought. Nope, not quite. Uh, but, but this is low enough stress, I can do this. We, uh, what would have been interesting to do is to to pull the car essentially like alongside a fence because we did we did end up being stopping it near a fence is to pull it up alongside the fence and then throw the throw the Molotov get back in the car and then move to the side of the fence where the car was up against the side of the fence because um, then the zombies in theory at least wouldn't have been able to grab us and we could have just sat in the car while the zombies burned I think would have worked. Would have been worth a shot at least. I feel like this knife is not going to last much longer. Yes, I know I'm I'm uh, highly exerted at the moment too, by the way. That has not been lost on me.
just kind of want to get this last little group of zombies here. Hopefully there's nobody inside. Oh, there's a bunch back there. Excuse me, zombies. I think I see a vending machine in there, which would be kind of nice to get. Except for there's no food in there. I'm gonna change clothes real quick. Oh, hey, bud. Hey. Don't attack me. Hit me. I guess the fact that I can't call out to him means that he's not friendly. Is that how that works? This this must be his considered his base because he keeps going back to it. All right, uh, one thing I wanted to look at here is there there's super survivors. All right, let's look at this real quick before we wrap up. So we got super survivor spawn rate. We could turn them up or down. Preset unique survivors offer on chance to spawn with a gun. Raiders event guaranteed. Chance to spawn raiders. Melee weapon. Melee misspelled, by the way. Chance to be hostile. What's this chance to be hostile? Why did he attack me? Chance to be hostile over time, 80%. Okay, so probably because it's been a while, he turned, became hostile. We could have started with a wife or a husband, but we didn't. It's friendliness, bravery, infinite ammo off. Huh. Alright, that's an interesting task. Alright, I'm going to stop here for today, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.